Assalamu alaikum. I am Asad Yusuf, a uh, medical physicist in Alpha University Hospital. Today's topic is radiation protection for healthcare professionals. Objective of uh, this presentation is to make you aware of the radiation and their hazards. Aware about radiation protection. So these are the outlines of uh, this presentation. What is radiation? Radiation can be thought of as the transmission of energy through space and matter. Two major forms of radiation, electromagnetic and particular radiation. Both forms can interact with matter and transfer their energy to the matter. Electromagnetic energy, radiations, energy emitted and transferred through space and matter. Ionizing for biological tissue. X-rays, gamma rays, electron, proton, neutron, alpha particle. Non-ionizing include light, microwave, radio waves, ultrasound waves. Source of radiation naturally or man-made are given here. And we are surrounding with the radiation as well. And these are the range of uh, shorter wavelength or higher, longer wavelength, different kind of radiation on spectrum. So the quick question. Did you know some of the foods you eat contain naturally occurring radioactive material? For example, the photon's interaction with matter, energy of X-rays that enter object, it could absorb, scatter, or transmit. So interaction with the biological material. Radiation cause ionization. So once the photon interact with atoms or a molecule or cell or a tissue, so this kind of effect could take place. Direct effect that radiation directly damaged to the DNA or indirect effect. The indirect effect is due to the water molecules as our body is composed of water molecules. So it caused the creation of the free radical form of H2O2 which is highly reactive and mutagenic. So these three radicals could cause damage. These are the sun diagrams of the damage. Radiation units. These are the famous faces of uh, the sciences. Uh, on the name, on their names, the units are defined. The Rongen, Kosher, Curie, is a radioactive source, tray again using the provision of radiation or stewards called in which include the quality factor. So the definition, Ranjit, the unit of exposure, the unit of specific size the matter being exposed and radiation producing the ionization in here. Whereas gray is amount of energy absorbed in a given amount of material. Whereas steward includes the quality effects of the radiation. For most radiation in medicine, one gray is worth one steward. For radiation safety purpose, we use the unit steward or milli steward. Typically, chest radiograph is a 0 0.05. So these are more details of the same units and the old names of the units also mentioned here. Facts and misconception. The excess temperature, drinking a hot coffee, equals to its calories, whereas the relatable dose for gray is also for same calories. By energy gain from a sip of coffee and extra can be same, but extra are ionizing. That is what we These are the misconception which is used in uh, different kind of movies uh, for the entertainment, but these are the facts. That this radiation can cause the ablation. This radiation can cause injury. Very good speed. <clears throat> so, is radiation protection needed? Yes. So, radiation hazard. These are some harmful effects. The caustic effect. It can occur when a person receives a high dose of radiation. These effects have an increased probability of occurrence with increased dose. There is no threshold dose. Severity of dose does not depend on the magnitude of dose. 
for example, malignant disease, peritomal attacks, and two type of somatic and genetic. Deterministic effect. It is also called non stochastic These effects depend on time of exposure, doses, and type of radiation. It has a threshold of the dose below which the effect does not occur. Deterministic effects are those response which increase in severity with increased dose. If the dose increases, the severity of effect increases. Deterministic effect includes acute radiation sickness and chronic radiation sickness. Effects attributed to exposure, somatic, are form an occupational risk perspective, the most significant since the individual exposed. Radiation is an example of physical toxicity. Cigarettes are an example of chemical cancer causing age. Viruses are an example of biological cancer. Some of the population study and their associated cancers are lung cancer, bone cancer, thyroid cancer, and these are the factors which uh, can cause these kind of cancers. Genetic effect. Mutation of radio uh, reproductive cells has on offspring of exposed individuals. Radiation is an example of physical mutagenic agent. There are also many chemical agents as well as a biological agent that cause mutation. And mutation cause cancer. Increase the spontaneous mutation rate but does not reduce any new mutation. In utero effect involves the production of malformation in developing embryo. Radiation is a physical pathogenic agent. Effect depends on the radiation doses and stage of development of the fetus. So these are going to be effects uh, different week of post conception. With any exposure radiation, there is some risk. So genetic effect, uh, two to four per day. Somatic, we, these ranges, and neutral, these weeks, uh, neutral, all effects. So radiation protection. Concept and aim of radiation protection. Radiation protection is a tool for management of measure to protect the health against the risk generated by the use of ionizing radiation. Always consider benefit versus risk. Classification of exposure. Occupational, medical, public. So, aim of radiation protection deterministic effect. Aim to prevent them. Caustic to reduce. Justification means that any exposure produces sufficient benefit to offset the radiation harm that it might cause. Thus, if the exposure has not any clinical benefit, it is not justified. Alara does should be as low as reasonably few. So that's the way of optimization, which consider economic and social factor. So again, the risk versus benefit. <clears throat> the cardinal principle of radiation protection: minimize the time, maximize the distance, maximize the shielding, awareness, adopt Alara. And these are uh, representative picture. How the distance affect the radiation decreases while power, how uh, the time, sorry, this is the time, this is the distance, and this is the way you show. The time, keep time span in active area low, do not be in the room during exposure unless needed, refers to radiation worker, working time, not time of control control. The distance, inverse quite well. Chilling, use absorber between yourself and the radiation. Wear lead apron if you will be in exposure room. Wear lead gloves if your hand will be in a lag being a patient. Use control console wall window at the back. More scatter radiation toward the X-ray tube side. So this is a guideline for those who are working on the radiology area. Image gently, image wisely. Regulation. So PK904 has to be followed. Some requirements include occupation exposure control and classification of area, personal protective equipment, monitoring exposure assessment, monitoring of workplace, qualified and trained workers, health surveillance, justification of medical exposure, calibration. The classification of area, control area versus supervised area. Control area where there is a likelihood of receiving effective dose greater than six millisievert. Shielding require access restriction, require interlocks, require sign, 
protective equipment, room ventilation to require staff to follow the rigid procedure. Whereas in supervised area, operator controls area where calculated exposure rate through shielding barrier allegedly results in exposure of one millisiever. The type of monitoring. Medium monitoring, survey meter, personal dosimeter. Personal dosimeter, always wear your personal dosimeter. Like in our hospital, we use OSL bag. The dosimeter should be worn between the shoulder and the waist. If the lead apron are used, then wear the badge under the lead. To report unusual exposure or misuse of the badge, send your badge to the radiation protection officer for a reading quarterly. Check the exposure report regularly. Personal dose monitor. If the radiation worker, especially classified area like nuclear medicine, PET CT, brachytherapy, or in an area, area where instantaneous dose monitoring is required, they should be they should wear pocket dosing with OSL. Pregnant staff are issued an additional OSL bag so they report any pregnancy imaging. Our level is six millisievert. High exposure is investigated by radiation protection officer. <coughs> Health surveillance requirement. Following tests are required to be performed in the regular interval for the radiation work. Blood CP and urine examination. Dose limitation. Dose equivalent limits. Doses with acceptably small risk to the individual society does not include exposure from natural sources. Radiation and medical exposure. Radiation user responsible for limiting exposure. Provide upper limits of acceptable exposure. Actual exposure should be capped well below the limit. And these are the ICRP guidelines. So the whole body for the occupational exposure uh, should not exceed 20 millisievert for air. For the public is 1 millisievert. And these are some other sites. Dose limit. Effective dose of for 6 millisievert in air. An equivalent dose to the lens of eyes can be less than 50 millisievert in air. An equivalent dose to the extremities can be low or skin of 150 millisievert per year. And these are the some radiation values uh, for the CT purposes. And the values for the nuclear medicine. These are some threshold doses for deterministic effect of different sites. Uh, radiation in hospital are uh, these are the some radiation areas in our hospitals radiology, nuclear medicine, radiation oncology, cat lab, area lab, operation theater, research lab, wards, and these are the workers usually work in hospital. Radiation safety and warning sign must be aware. And also think of your fellow mentoring. The evolution of potentially pregnant patient. Notice the missed period irregularly menstruating women should be considered due to the pregnancy until proven otherwise. Notice regarding pregnancy should be posted in patient waiting areas. It is, if possible, that you might be a pregnant, notify the physician or other staff before your exiting marriage, treatment, or before being injected with a radiation material. So radiation emergency, one should never attempt to tackle the problem in hurry without analyzing the situation because such an attempt will not only complicate the situation but also will result in unnecessary radiation exposure. Emergency response, rectify the situation, make sure patients are brought into safety, isolate the area. In all cases of emergency after taking immediate action, notify immediate notify radiation protection officer, record the incident with the unit. Thank you for your interest.